Welcome back to the channel Trading Simplified. I'm a trading enthusiast and love to simplify trading. To get started, just a reminder that I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. What's up everybody? I just wanted to give a quick update on PLTR. Yesterday, it broke new highs at the 27.5 that we were speaking about and it is starting to make new highs around $29 a share. So now following my cursor, you can see up here around the $29 mark is where it is starting to break new highs and then had a nice sell off, probably people taking profits to be honest, and then coming back up to 29.2 and then selling off again. Now what I wanna point out is the resistance level. So the next resistance level is 29.2. So that's a critical level that we'll be watching on Monday to see if PLTR is going to continue this nice bullish pattern that it's had over the last couple of days. Using the RSI, which is down here, you can see that there were clear indicators to buy this stock. So looking at the massive dips over here, focus on this part over here with the RSI. I have previous videos showing how to read RSI, how to play RSI, so definitely refer back to those videos if you're not sure what I'm talking about. Just a quick synopsis, less than 30 RSI is a buy, greater than 70 is usually a sell. And I'll show you. So look at the market up here, and then look how high the RSI was up here. It was showing that it was an RSI of almost 70, 68 up at this point. And then when it was down here, the RSI was down to like the 30s, and it's a nice swing trade all the way up to 28.2, all the way up to 29.2. So it's a, a whole point gain that you can be making on these day trades right now. When you find stocks that are bullish like this, you definitely want to buy the dips until it starts showing that reversal pattern. So I wanted to show on Fidelity how much I've made on PLTR over the year, and it's around over $7,000. Now, I kind of like how Warren Buffett puts it. You should really know like five to 10 stocks really well, invest in them over time, and you know just focus on the company now i look at it like that in a day trading perspective pltr is one of the stocks that i consistently watch so i have a good idea of what market news affects it what are good support levels what are good resistance levels and i think as a day trader it's important to play other stocks that move but i think it's also important to just know a select few stocks so you know when you're entering whether you're getting a good price whether it's on sale or whether it's oversold if you trade multiple stocks, it's difficult to know that. And for me, I like to stick to like five to 10 stocks mainly that I trade. And then whatever's moving, obviously, in the news, I'll try to trade as well. All right, so the second stock I wanted to bring up was AMC. We spoke about this yesterday, how we wanted to see if AMC was going to start a reversal pattern. If you look at the right now, I have the five day up. You can see that today, it sold off yesterday from $48 down to $44. Now, normally when I used to trade, I used to just buy this overnight and just hold it and pray it goes back up. But now I just don't do plays like that anymore. I like to always see what's happening. So on Monday, I'm going to be really watching AMC. But the big thing is I wanted to bring up on the one month chart. It's hard to see from here from this angle. I'll see if I can kind of make this a little easier. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So just to make it a little more clear, so we actually see numbers. So what I was really looking for was the support level, the true support level. I'm still being patient with AMC. I wanna make my entry around like $40 a share. Anything around 39 to $40.50 is where I'm gonna to look to make my entry. Because if you look at the trend, I mean, it is going up. The, the, mar the market is trending up. But the thing is, you just have to be careful with stocks like AMC because this can, this can go very bad on you very quickly. I mean, even just from there, it was like a 50% gain when it went up to like 37 to 50, 52 to 57 or as high as went up there. But you just want to be careful. And I don't like buying stocks like AMC when they're at their highs unless I'm actively at the computer and I can just get out of a position if I don't feel it's right. So $40 is really where I'm looking at to make my entry around here. I believe this is the next support level. Because when AMC is going to, it might retest this again, $43, it might retest it. And you might get a little pop, maybe a point or something. But honestly, nobody really knows. So I like to, I like to buy AMC when it's oversold. And I'm watching this RSI. 
So the RSI right now at $44 is sitting at $30. But if we can get a massive sell-off on Monday, hopefully, this is where I'm looking making to look at my entry. Now, obviously, it can change during it. It might be $41 around to make that purchase price, but we just have to see where it's going to go. And I'll be watching the RSI to see if other people will be interested because it's a good indicator to buy the reversal. So this stock, Wish, W-I-S-H, is a stock that is a completely speculative meme, meme stock play. So this is not something that I recommend anybody to buy. I'm going to put some money into this most likely. I've been looking at this stock. My friend brought it up, brought it up to me. I mean, it went to a high as $30. It's called Context Logic. And basically, after the IPO, they just sold off like horribly, as you can see. I mean, from a high as $32 all the way down to six dollars or five dollars now this is the year chart so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring up it actually went even higher i apologize it went up to like 35 dollars. but i'm going to bring up the five day chart just to see where we're at and when looking at this chart you can see that this company really honestly is completely oversold at this point and i'm going to show you why so looking at them the support level is basically around the $6.20 range. It has not broken this level after being sold off. So this is a company that potentially the upside is just very high. Now this is purely speculative. This is not something that, you know, I, I don't traditionally do this, but because it's like a meme stock and it's heavily shorted, meaning that people are betting for it to go down, they're you know, they, they short the stock at $14, it goes down to six, they'll make money as long as it keeps going down. But when I look at this stock, I just, it's one of those like meme stocks like AMC when it was like $2 and it went up to 70. So I'm probably gonna hold some shares and I'll just keep it in the portfolio to update how it's doing. Nothing crazy, like two to 3% of the portfolio because I just feel like what's the risk at this point where it's like $6 a share. And um, it's just something that I'm gonna try to wing and just see what happens. but. I mean, it looks like it actually is showing signs of a support level here around $6.30 because you can see it looking at the chart coming back. It was $6.30 popped up to $7.70 and then now it's back down to $6.30 and now it's hovering around this area. So I'm going to watch it on Monday. If it gets a discounted price and goes down to anywhere between like 6.3, I'm going to start making an entry price. Nothing crazy, a couple hundred shares and just sit on it and hold on it. I'm not going to do like a crazy mass investment or anything, just something that I can sleep at night and hold it. And if it goes up, that's fantastic. But it's just my buddy's been basically touting about this stock the whole time. So I figured it's time to just get a position in case this thing ever does decide to go to the moon. At least I can say I was in the game with some skin. And it's fun. It's fun. If you got a couple shares, you can just watch it go up or down. The last stock that I want to talk about is, is Apple. Now, Apple is a stock that has been shedding off. I mean, it was as high as 157. It's now down to 146. We spoke in my previous video where I really want to buy them, where I'm hoping, and this could still take like a month to get to this price. But who knows with this market, with inflation and everything that's coming out, I just truly believe that before November and December, we're going to see a massive sell-off. We're going to see people taking profits around holidays. We're going to see that the interest rates, whatever the rates they decide to pick. I want Apple around 130. This is the true support level. If it does sell off, you're probably going to get a bounce here. And I'm not saying you need a bounce from 130 up to 160, but it could be a good like four to five point play. Um, so we're just looking at it here. I'm still waiting patiently with Apple, but I am watching them every time they trend down. So they're at 146. I like to go long. We could start a short position. Maybe I'll do a couple shares here and there just to keep more of an eye on it. But I truly want it around like 130, 125 would be even better. The lower you get Apple, the better, because you can just hold it over long term, whatever happens to it, but you don't want to buy at these highs. Because if it sells down 30, 40 points, you're just going to be like, why didn't I just wait at this point? Um, that's really all I got for you guys. I just wanted to sum up some of the stocks that I've been looking at that I'm planning for Monday. And those are the support and resistance levels. But the main one that I want to watch really is PLTR because it has the momentum on its side. Even if a stock is getting more and more expensive and you feel like you missed out, like PLTR is in the 20s, you can still make money day trading it. You don't have to buy the death and pray it goes back up. I mean, that some people can stomach that and they can hold shares like that with that kind of conviction. I'm not one of those players. I'd rather get the confirmed bullishness that's moving up and then I start to make my moves. And as you can see, you know, I've made a good amount of money on PLTR. 
And I just like to play it when the momentum's on its side. And that's kind of how I try to trade. Play the momentum or buy the dips 